Hey, good morning, guys. We're here at a Lord and Taylor that's closed in Westfield, New Jersey. Do you see the logo still here? This is the classic one. They uh, they made a new newer one uh, in the recent couple of years. But uh, Lord and Taylor, I think they closed in February of 2021 this year for good. They closed all of their stores for good. I see a cop on my left side. <sighs> Man. I just want to film a place. Hopefully he doesn't uh, see me or whatever, say anything. I'm just here to film a place, that's all. I'm not doing any vandalism or anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got the double doors here like always. But you can see, I can see the escalators from here. They still got the uh, the register counters right over there. The monitors. I see some light flickering over here. There's still some uh, pictures and signs there. You'll see a bunch of fixtures over here as well. See that there's a person's there's a picture on that sign over there. Excuse me. <laughs> Pretty sure they had like cologne areas over here. Where you get cologne like how they have it in Macy's. Maybe over here. I wonder what this red sign is for. I'm not even sure. Here's the floor plan. They had two floors here. Well, let's go around this place. Looks like they like renovated it too. You can kind of see the lower interior, but there's some cracks here. Let's go around the place. See, I'm pretty sure there's another entrance to this Lord and Taylor over here somewhere. I don't want to film the cops, so I'm gonna go this way. This is a Westfield, New Jersey, guys. I think I've been here before. Uh, When I went to uh, one of the dentists here for my TMJ, my jaw issue that I've been having for such a long time. Yeah. One of the TMJ specialists is uh, right down this road somewhere. I believe, I don't know what street it is, but they're down there somewhere. <laughs> so, there is a Lord and Taylor. Side. This is the front of the uh, building. That was the side. This uh, was one of those signs again. The red square signs. There's another one. Another one of those floor plans here. First and second floor. I see some fixtures here. Uh, here's one that says coach. I see another one in the back. I don't even know which one that is. I also hear an alarm going off. It's a very faint sound. You guys can't hear it, but I can. 
finishes service desk, elevator, escalator, and fitting room. <coughs> I could also see a Michael Kors uh, sign right there as well. Michael Kors. There's the escalators. I never really shopped at a Lord & Taylor, probably like once or twice in my life. <laughs> but I've been to Macy's many, many times with my mom. So, um, it's a nice store, Macy's, as well as... Sad to see Lord & Taylor close, though. All those Lord & Taylor stores closed. Such huge properties. Something's got to go in those places. I mean, I don't see it being demolished. They have to be used for something. Cause it's just a, such a huge property, and it's... Most of them are in very good shape, so still can be repurposed for something. Uh, what else is here? This is where the mannequins would have been. <laughs> the creepy looking mannequins. I didn't even know there was a Lord and Taylor here in Westfield. Look. I don't know if there's another side entrance to this uh, Lord & Taylor. Let's check it out. Real quick. There's a bank over there too. There's a bank like right here. Oh, we're next to Scotch Plains too. I just saw the police car it says Scotch Plains on it. What is this? Oh, there's another Lord & Taylor entrance. There's a sign again. This is another side entrance. Somebody left their garbage here. Very nice. <laughs> Oh, wow. There's still so many fixtures and stuff inside this place. They haven't gutted out anything. Well, I mean, they haven't entirely gutted out everything in this place. Here you can see like some tables. A lot of those counters over there. <clears throat> See uh, some carts. Mm. Let's go around. I mean, let's go to the back. See what there is. I'm pretty sure there's a super receiving department in this place. There is the parking space, and there was more on the side, on the other side. So I'm guessing this is the uh, the docks, probably, for the shipping and receiving. There's a door here. Mm, the pallet jack. I see a red one there. Yeah, this is shipping receiver. Looks pretty old. Yeah, Lord and Taylor has been around for a very long time, so this this has been, probably been here for a long time. See some pallets here too. Is this door even open? Nope, oh, it's closed. Oh, wow, I wasn't even noticing it gonna be like this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, but uh, here's some overgrown plants and so the compactor would have been really rusty looking. And here we got the railroad tracks.
All right, guys, that about does it for this video. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze in three more videos today, and also, hopefully, this um, Saturday morning I'll be heading to PA. I really want to check out some uh, places in Pennsylvania that I really want to check out. Um, I think there'll be a Kmart or two in there. An abandoned uh, Sam's Club. Hopefully I won't try to get to that. And then... Um, <coughs> and <you're in> the road. <laughs> The train, I mean. <laughs> the train! We're gonna... Uh, yeah, so hopefully I go to Pennsylvania Saturday morning to do some filming. Do like a Kmart or two, maybe a Toys R Us, an abandoned Sam's Club, and then um, probably, yeah, I want to try to do like seven videos that day. So, all right, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.